So I'll be showing you the new features of the lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy S24. Now, of course, this one's come with a new One UI 6.1. So you can lock your screen and then on the lock screen, long press. And then after entering your password, it takes you to the lock screen editor. Now I'll start from the top going all the way down. So here you have wallpapers. So you have your normal lock screen wallpapers, and then you have this S24 exclusive wallpapers. And these are some extremely good looking wallpapers, especially the interactive ones, because they move on the lock screen. So anytime you lock and unlock your phone, that wallpaper moves, as you can see. Okay, so those movements are really good looking. Okay, now the next thing is the clock style. So you can actually change the clock style First, you can change the font of the clock. If you have a digital clock, you have all these fonts you can change to. And if you go all the way to the end, you have this three dot option and you can even go to the Galaxy Store and download some more fonts for the lock screen clock. Okay. So for instance, you can download one like this. You can get some free ones and some you have to pay for. Okay, for instance, this one has to be paid for. You can get some free uh, fonts for your lock screen wall uh, clock. Now, the next thing is to change the clock style for the lock screen. So you have different styles that you can use. You even have this analog clock. And whatever you choose here will also be displayed in the always on display. So you can have this one for the calendar, depending on what you want, really. Now, let's go back to the default. That was the default. So let's go back there so we can continue. Next, we have the new widgets. Okay, so just like the iPhone, Samsung have decided to add lock screen widgets. So you have this widget section, and then you have a selection, which is uh, maybe a very small selection, but of course it's gonna grow with time. And this is a selection of widgets you can add to your lock screen. So for instance, you can add a battery widget. And maybe even uh, use this to monitor the battery percentage of your devices okay you can add and remove widgets like that you can add another one maybe from Samsung health if you want to maybe uh, check your daily activity stuff like that these are the uh, lock screen widgets anytime you want to remove just tap on this section you'll see these little uh, white dots on the top of every widget and you can tap on it to remove any widget and then next you have your normal uh icons for notifications you can remove them you can choose icons only you can have details or you can just remove all icons if you want to okay and then you have this section here where you can add your contact information for when you maybe lose your phone or misplace it somewhere someone can just see a contact information or your contact information on the lock screen and they can be able to reach you now i have an extensive video on that on this channel so you can check that out but that is basically for uh your contact information and then you have the option to change the lock screen shortcuts okay so you have the torch here you can change that to maybe expert row and you have this one here you can change to maybe voice recorder you can just put exactly the lock screen shortcuts that you want and then you have a toggle button here that you can switch between the lock screen wallpaper and the home screen wallpaper okay so home screen and lock screen so you can be able to see how it changes up now the other thing i want to show you is how to use frames so when you have your own custom wallpaper so for instance if you go to uh, the camera app for instance like that one get yourself that wallpaper and then tap on done You'll notice we now have some frame and effect buttons at the bottom. So we have the option to frame. You can actually add frames to this wallpaper and have them occupy only a small section of the screen like that. Or you can just remove the frame and decide to go with effects. So with effects, these are basically just like filters. So you can change how the wallpaper looks like. Okay. And then once you're done, just uh, go back and then tap on done. And that is the lock screen features 
explained on your Samsung Galaxy S24. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below, and good luck.